minor. That's what we're going to be talking about today. I'm just going to be taking you through everything you need to know about the price, the specs, and uh, we can talk about the earning potential and whether or not you think this is worth it. So if you're interested in that kind of content, stay tuned. We have a lot for you. I would appreciate it if you watch the whole video, but I would also be adding timestamps just in case you are impatient and or maybe you find me boring. There's that too. One thing I do want from you, however, I'd appreciate the like. Likes are free, doesn't take anything from you, and just helps this content meet other people as well. So if we're good with that, sit back, relax, and let's drive through. Right now we are on the Futurebit website. Uh, this miner lets you mine Bitcoin. You get to run a full Bitcoin node. And you also hold your own Bitcoin keys and run your own open source Bitcoin applications 24 seven. So extra security. Uh, this guy runs on six cores with four gigabytes of RAM and a one terabyte NVMe drive. 44 ASIC cores, three tera hashes of power, less than 200 watts. Now for me, this is the main kick because I live in an apartment and I mean, electrical bills when mining crypto, especially in the bear market, are crazy. So you can get this miner as either a full package that comes with everything, including the power, or just a standard unit that's just a hash board that does all the Bitcoin mining work without the controller. So that's kind of how the price is going to vary depending on what you choose. And I'll be linking this website in the details section of the video just so you can check it out. Uh, but these are the clear technical specifications. Power is basically 125 watts in eco mode and 200 watts in turbo. Prices vary anywhere from $524.99 as of today to $899.99. Now this is what the dashboard looks like, okay? Uh, here you can see your current hash rate. So right now, out of the three tera hashes that this can handle, I'm only uh, pulling about 2.43. Currently pulling 155 watts of my electricity, watts per tera hash here, it says 63. Um, I've been able to bring down my hardware errors by just running my device longer. Um, up until two days ago, it's been running straight for two months without any errors or downtime. So that's been pretty good. And you can see here, you can check the temperature, the fan speed, the power, voltage, errors, everything, right? The other thing that you can do on this dashboard is you can also run your Bitcoin node. Bitcoin Core version 22.00. Um, fully up to date on the blocks, it tracks your network hash rates, and also you can check your connections right now. As of now, I'm not yet running a node on this, I'm just basically mining with this. So that's something that we're going to be doing in the future. Very exciting stuff. I'm currently mining through Slush Pool. It's going to be renamed Brains Pool soon, so that's something to note. But here you can basically see what my rewards are like. I've been averaging, I would say, anywhere between 35 cents to 45 cents a day and so yes you might argue that that is low okay I've only earned 27 USD so far and this was a $900 investment so yes I'm way off from this but then I am mining Bitcoin at these prices okay this is $19,833 for a Bitcoin so if you think about it there's actually more to it than just the dollar value as of this time it's really a thing of perspective picture this scenario this guy was earning um 0.1 bitcoin on average every single day in bitcoin back in 2013 and he turned off his miner because he said hey it was probably not worth it and he felt he wasn't making that much bitcoin is going to be very scarce if you're thinking long term i definitely think this device is a good one if you are a true Bitcoin believer, if you believe in the dream, there's a lot of value to be gained from holding this long term. And if it's not taking much from my electricity, that's just one way to look at it. And this is also the reason why it might not be for everybody, okay? It depends on what you are. If you're a hobbyist and you are into the dream, you love the whole idea of mining, this might just be it for you. You're gonna enjoy it. It's not gonna be super profitable right away. Assuming price remain constant and I did absolutely nothing, I wouldn't be making my uh, return on investment for the next four or five years. Uh, but I don't expect Bitcoin to just stay dormant. I expect to see a lot of things in price action that should actually make this a worthwhile investment over the long term. Before you get into one of these, these are certain things that you just want to consider. Another thing to point out is that you can actually stack these miners. So you could get 
your hands on a standard unit and couple that together with the full note package and also increase your earnings that way there are a lot of different things that you can consider uh, but yes shipping was pretty fast it was pretty easy to get and I am quite pleased with this miner so far so I'm optimistic in the long run that Bitcoin is actually going to really soar in price and it is an increasingly scarce asset the way I see it you can never go wrong mining Bitcoin if you're thinking long term and if you want to know more about my mining journey definitely check out this video right here I think you get a kick out of seeing what I've been up to if you like this kind of content and you hopefully want to see more of it I'd appreciate it if you smash that like button and also be sure to hit the subscribe button turn on post notifications so you get notified whenever I drop a new video.